Raise your hand if you want better copy. Okay. Just testing out my mic. So today I'm going to give you guys five tips to just really just do that. And uh, we have a camera right here, so uh, we could film this and post it on YouTube. Number one, you want to show and not tell. Meaning, your claim should never outweigh your proof. Your proof should, it should really always outweigh your claim. So what I mean by that is, let's say you want to gain 10 pounds. And my claim, or I have a proof of a guy who did gain 10 pounds within two months or a month and a half. Uh, of muscle so I could go ahead and give a claim that this program will help you gain seven pounds and then my proof is a guy who gained ten pounds it's it's a good it's a good claim and proof if you say this program will help you scale to thirty thousand dollars a month and your proof is a guy scaling twenty to twenty nine thousand dollars in five five hundred twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars excuse me uh, in one month then you're shown as, well, good, but he didn't reach that number. You're shown as you're trying to oversell. But when, when you're underselling, it shows that you're not needy and that it really does work. It goes above and beyond, even if it's just with the slightest numbers. That's why they do $9.99. They, they don't want it to hit double digits. Number two, I have my little notepad right here. <laughs> number two is being a passionate leader. What I do when I write my copy, I check my uh, my copywriting, and if I don't sound passionate enough, I will add some more exclamation marks to make sure it sounds nice and passionate. So just being passionate alone will help you write better copy, provide better results for your clients, or sell more being passionate. Number three, not interesting, not reading. This is a little quote we have in copywriting I guess not interesting not reading to make it more interesting you want it to be more short and snappy the sentences you want to have a specific rhythm I usually like to do three small short short sentences and then one long sentence um, I also enjoy don't make paragraphs all right especially on computer you're like it's not that big of a paragraph it's just three sentences don't forget that a lot of people read their emails on their phone they read them on their phone, meaning if it's three sentences on a computer, it's going to be a lot of, it's going to be seven or eight sentences on a, on a phone, and no one's going to read through that, which is a, a bonus tip. Make your text a little bit bigger, and the words that you really want, capitalize them and make them bigger by one. So if you're writing by 12, which is how much you should be writing by, the font size, if it's 12, make the word 13. Number, the next one is selling the outcome so let's say your product is a self-improvement thing for charisma um, let's say it will make you more confident you could talk about it'll help you be more confident it will help you uh, not be shy or stuff like that sell the outcome you're going to be confident you're gonna walk into class with a with a proud with a proud posture walking around and you're gonna to want to sell who they view themselves, their future self after this program, after implementing your strategies. Sell the outcome. A lot of people say, don't sell features, put benefits. Take it a step further and tell them what they're going to do with the benefits. The outcome. Got it? The outcome. Number five, who? Who the, mes who the messenger is. I learned this one from Jason Capital, my mentor. Who the messenger is is very important as well. What you're saying is also important, how you're saying it important as well, but who it's coming from, if that person is not an authority, it's going to be uh, kind of hard to get them to listen to you and to implement your strategies. So make sure you have that who down and the authority part. Be authoritative. A good way to do that is to be positive and to be passionate, like I said in uh, number two. And uh, since you guys are awfully quiet today, we're going to give you a sixth one. And... That is metaphors and similes. Just add metaphors and similes in your stuff. This will skyrocket your sales instead of this will double your sales. Very simple, easy one. Anything that just boosts. Money will be falling off the sky. Don't be as sly as a fox. Anything like that. You could go on Google and search. You could search 
uh, business related metaphors and you're gonna get a bunch of them that have to do with money they spend money like a faucet that's a really good one whenever you want to talk about someone who's rich and just spends a lot of money all right guys thanks for listening you guys too we're gonna move on to how to get clients